Welcome inside the Midwest Volleyball Warehouse for the conclusion of the Minnesota Molten Series 3. It's the championship match between the Minnesota Select 18 and 1s versus the Northern Lights 17 and 1s. John Adna and Andy Gugisberg with you here on CCX. And the team's on the court ready to go for what should be a good one, Andy. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're going to start out with uh, the heavy hitters where they need to be. Looks like Fry will be in the uh, one spot, meaning that Crowell will be the left front attacker. And uh, her big swing on the right side going up against Helmick should make for some great chess match back and forth as we take a look at Maddie Horniak. Loose kid just trying to stay calm, keep everybody going. These kids were ready to be out of here in about eight minutes, <laughs> but unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how addicted to volleyball you are, uh, we've had some great volleyball going on already, and uh, we're here for the final match of the day. Every, uh, every match that CCX has done has gone three. This is our fourth and final one, so we'll see what kind of volleyball we get here. Nicole O'Dean out of Buffalo set to serve for Minnesota Select from the far side, Northern Lights on the near side. And the official, the up official talking to players from each side before the start. What might be happening here is, as you can see on the right side of our screen, court two is wide open, which means they can play it as a playable surface. Ah. Normally, if there's a match on the congruent court, anytime you step into that blue area, that will be a side out. The other team will get the ball. But because volleyball is done, we may be going court to court here. Odin with a nice serve to start. Fallert handles it. Fry high outside set. Horniak off the block. That ball might have been out of bounds looking for a call. Call is out of bounds, which means point two Northern Lights. We'll take a look here. It's a really nice swing. Great angle here. Where's that ball land? Ooh, that might have been a miss, but uh, after seven hours being here, <laughs> we can't expect vision to be perfect. On the serve is Riley Fry stepping in for Kennedy Orr, who is unavailable today. This spike into the net and a quick 2-0 lead uh, for Northern Lights. Yeah, or doing the lion's share of the setting for the team uh, has a little bit of a bad knee and coming down with some sinus infection while they were at Triple Crown a couple weeks or last weekend. She's going to take the rest of the day off. Air ball given to the outside. The spike blocked back. Select gets it again and this time hits it into the net. A 3-0 start for Northern Lights and it doesn't matter what age level we've watched. Northern Lights has started strong in just about every set that we've watched. Stelpus does a really nice job normally. She gets up against a pretty big block there and kind of overthinks it. This ball set to the outside and Stelpus cutting that one across. Kept alive by Northern Lights and this shot misses wide for Lauren Crowell. Crowell, the big lefty uh, Eastview kid, does a really nice job out of system typically. That's an uncharacteristic error for her as Stelpus will go back to serve. And Crowell was dominant early on when we watched her, so I'd agree. Here's Jordan Stalpis out of Champlin Park, headed to Nebraska Omaha next year. This serve taken by Horniak, given back to her on the right side. She'll play it deep. Stalpis pops it up. Odin gives it to the right side, and it's pushed clean by Helmick. Pushed back by Crowell. Odin sets it to the outside. Spike and kill. Allie Hinsey. Yeah, Hinsey does a really nice job there. I, I got I to gotta step in a little bit here. So I work for Northern Lights. So if I call it our team on accident, that's just because <laughs> literally Adam is my boss, the head coach for the 17-1 team. But on the other side of the net, I've done enough of these CCX high school matches. I feel like I know all those kids as well. Mm -hmm. Really excited to see this match unfold here. Nice serve handled by Horniak. Gets the ball back, goes into the seam and down for a quick side out. And it's 4-2 lights. Nicely done. Now you and your boss played club, uh, club volleyball together. We didn't right? play at the same time, the but same we both time. played at the University of Minnesota. Okay. He was there a couple years before me, and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Helmick with a big hammer. Torsenson runs it down. Going to be a free ball opportunity for Select here. Off the logo. Hansi, big swing. Fowler not quite in position there. Stopped or ready to make that play. Kind of goes into self-defense mode and knocks it down. So with the point for select, they'll give the serve to Molly Schultz, the Rockford player headed to Kansas next season. Here's the Libro serve. Right at her counterpart, Torstenson plays it up, now given to the outside, the spike 
Played up off the blocks on that hit by Fallert. Now a back row attack from Stalpis. Nice going down to the knees for the dig by Fry, but she can't get it back over, and we are tied at four. Yeah, really good back row defense there on a back row attack. Fry makes a nice play. Torsenson not quite sure why she didn't finish that play. That's her ball just about all the time. Schultz again, this time played up by Horniak, given to the right side. Crowell with the hit, pushes through the block. This strike off the block, good for a kill as it goes out of bounds. Give it to Lily Emlong. Emlong, the Wyzetta kid, if I'm remembering correctly. Yep, one of three on Minnesota Select's side. Really does a nice job there getting available, finding the edge of the block. Going down for that one. Nicely played by Horniak, gets to the outside, and this ball out of bounds, 6-4. Now the lead for Minnesota Select. Helmick just a dominant presence on the right side there. Really well-formed block. She gets her left hand back inside. Great job by her, kind of one-on-one -on -one there as Fallert hits right into it. That one floated over. Engeman got to it, and then it is sent down hard by Minnesota Select, jumping out to a 7-4 lead. They started in 0-3 hole, so they have reversed the lead from down three nothing or down three points to up three points. Schultz serving for most of this run. Ball given to the outside. That is wildly out of reach. And with that, it's an 8-4 advantage for Select. Head coach Adam Beamer going to take a timeout here as uh, his squad in a bit of a struggle here. Down 4-8. Let's take a look at how we got here. We were with you for the semifinals. We're Northern Lights 17-1, 2-1 after they took down Vital 16-1 in the quarterfinals. So that's their road to this championship. On the other side, you've got M1 17-1 winning 2-0, and then 2-1. Uh, Minnesota Select getting the 2-1 semifinal round win to face Northern Lights here. We already saw the third place match as well. So here we are for our fourth and final affair on CCX today. Eight serving four. Horniak gets down underneath this. Crowd plays its second touch, and this one pushed down the line. That was not the way they drew that up, but Engeman finishes it off, and they get back within three. Yeah, the Minnetonka kid really does a nice job there. It's an out-of-system ball. They hang it a little higher than you normally would set the middle, and she goes outside the block of Hinsey and down for a point. This ball back set to the right side. A big swing, and that kill for Helmick makes it 9-5. Yeah, Helmick in rhythm there as we see this tempo pass, tempo set. Fallert kind of alone trying to take away part of the court, but she floats past it. And Helmick, that strong left hand into the cross, down for the point. Now Helmick on the serve. More than 50 aces this season for Wyzetta. Here from the outside, strong attack, and Fallert puts it off the blockers. 9-6 as Select back within three. Yeah, Fowler going to go to Northern Iowa and probably abuse a lot of blocks in that conference as well. We see her taking a big swing here, catches, I believe that's Emlong coming in a little late. Yep, sure is, and off the block and down. Crowell to serve. That back row appearance by Crowell, and she's done it all day. It's just a surprise for someone of her height to get that run, and she's played well back there here. The shot goes long, trying to go down the line. Instead, it's a point for Northern Lights, and they lead 10-6. Hinsey to serve. Nice pass, Fry handles it into the cross court. Great pickup by Hinsey there. Three ball opportunity here, four lights. Nope, into the antenna and out of bounds. Lights brings it back to within three. They're gonna need a run here. Off the serve, Select watches it fly by, and with that, they move to an 11-7 advantage. Look for Horniak against the small block on the right side here. That one put into the net. M. Long didn't get the contact she wanted. 11-8, Northern Lights back within three. Select was running a 6-2 earlier today into the 5-1. I wonder if one of the setters had to take off or they're just feeling the flow of this particular offense here. Back set to the right side. The spike kept alive by a diving attempt from Schultz. In the end, though, Northern Lights gets another point to pull within two. 
in the two hitter. Blockers are going to pick an option and get after it, leaving a one on one probably in one situation there. That was a perfect pass. So we saw the middle blocker trail with the slide hitter and a really nice block. Libert with the miss serve there, the Ohio Bobcat uh, commit. Uh, has done some really nice things this season for Northern Lights. There she goes back and gets her second chance high five from Adam Beamer. There's Nicole Odeen back at the service line where she started this match. Floats the ball over at Fallert. Then Wolf to the outside, rather Torstenson to the outside, and that spike goes long, 13-9 select. It is a tough day for you because Wolf is the 18-1 libero wearing also number 10. I can understand yep. the confusion. That same red color. <laughs> Here's Nicole Odeen. That one into the net. Three points separating the two squads. Fry back to serve, getting Kral back into the front row. Heavy dose of helmet coming here if I'm if I'm select or Wyzetta as the case may be. Riley Fry out of Robbinsdale. Armstrong serve a good one. Then she watches this one sail overhead. A touch and says. The line judge, and with that, it's a 14-10 select lead. It was a close call that time. Immediately snapped by the line judge, though, here. The no argument, yep. Yeah, really good read there as uh, Engeman goes up and tries to slow that ball down, and it goes off her hands. Set to the outside, blocked back on that spike attempt. They'll give it to the middle now, and Crowell hitting it from there. This push out of bounds, and with that, 14-11 our score as Northern Lights gets the serve back. Allie Henze saw a deep opening into the deep one court, uh, threw it back there, just missed the court though. Horniak on the serve, just a little too strong. 15-11, select, back up by four. That is at least the fourth service error for Northern Lights here, equaling the deficit. If I'm Coach Adam Beamer, I think we're gonna address that in a timeout. This ball floated over. Back set to the right side. Killer swing that time by Helmick. Yeah, really nice swing in rhythm from Helmick there. Crowell has no option. She sends over the roll shot. In, in system, Minnesota Select has way too many weapons. They take advantage. And now a short serve. Call it an ace as Torsenson caught off guard by the dropped in serve. Nice job by Schultz to collect that ace. And now she'll set up again. This serve floated in front of Torsenson again. This time she gets underneath it. There's a push from Crowell and it's good for a kill. That's a tough rotation for the Northern Lights 17 one team there. They finally get out of it. That was the rotation that Schultz went on a run in earlier this set as well. Emma Torstenson from Northfield headed to Colorado next season. Well, two seasons from now. <laughs> the junior's already committed. This ball off the block of Camille Libert then falls to the floor on the Northern Lights side. 18-12 select, pushing that lead up to six points. Hansi just playing calm, collected volleyball right now. Sees the block, finds the edge of the hands, down for a point. Helmick on the serve. That one cruised right at Horniak. She gets it up on the serve received. Now Schultz popping that in the air on the select side. Hinsey touches it over. Underneath it, Fry. Then Torstenson sets it up. Play down the line from Fallard. Out of the back row, the blockers were ready, and they ate up that attempt from Stalpis. Stalpis kind of out of system swing there. Does a really nice job of touching it high, but unfortunately, six hands from Northern Lights waiting for it. Crowell to serve, puts a little bit of pace on this one. Off the logo, inside set, looking for the corner and missing was Hinsey on that time. And uh, Northern Lights back within four here, late in set one, 14 to 18, as Crowell will give it another rip here from the end line. Crowell out of East View. She pushes that one at Stalpis, who gets it up on the receipt. Move to the front, Hinsey touches it over. Fallert, now Crowell with the hit. Helmick, this strike from the outside misses wide. And Northern Lights tightens things up a bit. They are within three. 
We've uh, talked about the talent on the floor. The Star Tribune recognized many of these players. Now, we're not going to see Kennedy Orr throughout the course of the day. We talked about that, but Helmick has been a huge player throughout the course of this one. Ava Mose also on this Northern Lights 17-1 roster, but we have not seen much of her today. Look at the second team, Hinzi, who's been out there. Wolf, who wasn't out there, but it looked like she was. <laughs> Johnson, I we saw her earlier, in, or I saw her earlier in the day. I don't see her out there this set. She's the other setter there. And then you see Fallert on the list for the third team. Along with Stelpis and Schultz. Yep. A lot of great players out here. We're fortunate enough to get to call a great match here. Schultz underneath this one, set to the outside. The cut shot there by Hinzi keeps it going. This one touched up a few times, given over free by Helmick. Underneath it is Horniak, moved to the front, spike blocked back, kept alive somehow, and Schultz has to play it on the select side. Here, Crowell underneath it. Fry sets it up to the outside. This spike pushed long. Now a spike underneath it is Horniak. Long point here, coming back to the Northern Lights side. The attack from the outside, and it was touched. Give the kill to Kira Fowler. I think Fallard found a bit of the edge of the block there. Kayla Cole not happy with the call. They messed up the uh, scoreboard for a moment there. It is 18-16, and they'll get it back there momentarily. I'm not sure if they thought that last time out was a... <laughs> I think the reset. scoreboard went out okay. for a second, and that'll automatically reset it. Luckily, we've got it right here. This ball touched oh. over, and it finds the floor. Select back in the scoring column after a little run from Northern Lights. It's 1916, Minnesota Select. Oh, Dean done with that rotation. Really good vision from her as she catches Crowell kind of on her heels, unable to make that play. Up by three, Select looking to close out set one. Hinzi back to serve. The Osseo product floats it over short, getting under it is Fowler just barely. Now a spike from the middle, and that's good for a kill, Camille Libert. Fry telegraphing that she's going to Libert there. Libert doesn't care, finds the edge of the block, sneaks it in down for a point. Lights within two. 17 serving, 19. Little break here. You talked about being able to go into that other court, but with that curtain there in between, I feel like it'd be pretty hard to make a solid play. It's hard enough when you're running that far. Here a shot goes cross court and out of bounds. 1918 Northern Lights within one. Fowler back to serve. Capable of going on a run. We'll see what she's got in her here. Schultz reads it well, lets it fly by, and that's another point for Minnesota Select. They're back up by two. That puts Lily Emlon at the service line. She's headed to Elon to be a Phoenix next year. Ball to the middle, the spike off the blocks and out of bounds. It's a kill for Libert again. And Libert to serve within one. Not a very defensive back row player, but does have a great stroke on the ball here. Libert goes after Schultz, who plays it up on the serve receive. Odin sets the right side, spike by Neal, dug out by Crow. Now Fry gives it to the outside. This strike too strong for Madeline Horniak. Out of bounds, and it's 21-19. Nicole Odin going back for the serve. She's headed to Davenport University. Again, we rattle these off. Not as a competition between them, but just to show how much talent is on the floor. Almost everyone is committed somewhere, and that includes the 17 and one squad, where about half their players have already committed as juniors. Another point for Select, it's 22-19. And one of the other hats I get to wear for our club is I'm the recruiting coordinator, so I can also tell you that the kids that haven't made their college choice have some scholarship offers they're just trying to pick off. Sure. And uh, Adam Beamer, uh, who himself has had some success, won a few national championships, going to call a timeout here, uh, trailing 1922 here in set one. Um, so he brings everyone in for a chat. And right now, Northern Lights down by three, whereas Minnesota Select needs three to win. What kind of a crucial time for Northern Lights to make a push here in the late stages of the first set. 
This is a great rotation for Select as uh, they really like getting Helmick the ball. Uh, Stelpus has done some really good things, chopping away at the block. And Kate Neal is really a nice presence at the net. She hasn't been set yet, but she's a blocking force for certain. Horniak takes the Odin serve. Now it's punched over hard. Nice dig by Hinzi on the dive. She'll come back to it and give it over free. Crowell up to the front for Fry, set the outside, spiked by Horniak, dug out by Schultz. Nope, no one else can get there. And Northern Lights, which uh, with a much needed point, 22 to 20 now our score. You mentioned Helmick being in a good position, uh, but I'm guessing the chemistry with Olivia Johnson's a little better than with Odine. Absolutely true. This ball pushed to the side, and that is a rough receive by Jordan Stalpis. Cost her team a point, it's 22-21. Cole going to sit on this one. I was expecting a timeout, but uh, she she knows her team, and if they go at Schultz again, this would probably be a side out. Fry serving. This ball played high into the arrow. Dean tracks it down, and it's given over free. Set to the right side for Crow. Big hit and a nice dig by Odin. Ball given over free. Engerman up to the front. Fry back set. Crow with the kill, and we are tied at 22 all. Now we'll get that timeout from Kayla Cole. Let's take a look at this last swing. Great in-system pass. I love the fact that uh, Engeman ran away. So you see the middle blocker has to go, leaving Crawl one-on-one -on -one, uh, with Stelpis. And Stelpis takes advantage of that, or excuse me, and uh, Crawl takes advantage of that. Tied up at 22s. Uh, race to three here. That timeout that Coach Beamer called a few points ago got the three points they needed. Mm -hmm. Now it's a race. We'll see who comes out swinging here. This rotation, while it's good for Select, they're doing a, a interesting move here where they're having Helmick just run all the way across to hit the Delta or the Nine or the C, whatever you want to call it, uh, instead of leaving her outside for one. I know during the high school season, uh, she would stay out on the outside for one, and that left-handed swing is really hard to pick up from the left antenna. We'll see what they do here. Tied at 22. Select was up by as many as six points because last time we had a tie, it was 4-4. Here, a spike from the right side. Helmick had it played up in the air. Now an attack coming back from Horniak. Outside, down the line, good for a kill. Stalpis puts it in. Yeah, Crowell thought that ball was going cross court. So did I. Stalpis lets it drop a little bit past her. Takes that ball down the line. Really nice swing from the senior outside. So Stalpis then goes to the service line. From right in the middle, she'll float it over. Got the let, but it is played cleanly. And this ball pushed deep, too deep. Out of bounds by Northern Lights. And that gives a set point in favor of Minnesota Select. Crowell panicked there, missed that swing. Didn't like the ball she got. Decided to throw it deep and missed it by a few feet. Minnesota Select on the serve. Getting underneath it was Fowler. This ball set to the outside. Good swing by Horniak, but it's played up into the air. Select strikes it. Fowler to Fry. Back set right side. Crowell out of bounds. The blockers didn't get it. And with that, Minnesota Select takes the first set 25 22. We'll come back for the second right after this on CCX. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is now available on Roku and Apple TV. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. Minnesota Select took down Northern Lights 25-22 in the opening set. Now we move to the second of this championship here at the Minnesota Molten Series. Third tournament of the season. Is there one more after this there for Molten? Two more. Two more? Okay. One, in, one in a few weeks. The weekend right around, uh, would it be St. Patrick's Day? Okay. Uh, and then the first weekend in April will be the final uh, weekend of the, of the season. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the Northern Lights teams uh, will be in Denver. 
uh, for the next one. And then all of our 18s will be in Italy and our 17-1 and 16 and 15-1 teams will be in Kansas City. So for a few of us, uh, including, this is the final. <laughs> including this Northern Light 17-1 team, this is their final Molten Series of the season. So we've switched sides. Northern Lights at the top of your screen. Minnesota Select on the near side and serving as Riley Fry to get us going. Little control issues to start, but Olsen does give it over for Minnesota Select. Here's a spike from the outside. It's blocked back, kept alive, and Crowell finishes it off. See some new faces out there as uh, Aaron Lamb and Ava Mose in for Northern Lights and Hallie Olsen in for Select. And we've seen a fair amount of changes throughout the course of the day. I mean, we've talked about some players who looked like they had to take off early, so they're not even playing in this match. And now the switch is from game one to game two. Odin plays this up in the air, and now a spike and kill from Helmick to tie us at one apiece. Helmick's just fun to watch. She's just a, she's a great kid, works really hard, does a really good job surgically placing this ball, uh, getting out of a rotation for select as Olsen will go back to serve. Olsen. Now this ball set to the outside. The block steps up big. Nicely done between Dake and Helmick. Now Helmick going to James Madison next year. Dake will play Division II at the University of Minnesota Duluth. They worked well in tandem that time. James Madison got a steal. That kid is a monster in that conference. And I, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know the volleyball landscape that well, but I was surprised to see James Madison as the choice for someone who was, you know, Minnesota Gatorade Player of the Year caliber here right, in the state right, of Minnesota. Yeah, yeah she had a, she's had a heck of a career. She's just going to keep getting better at the next level. Uh, James Madison might have might have got the steal for Minnesota in this year's class. Uh, Really excited to see what she's going to do at that next level. Olsen goes after Fowler, who receives well. Now a touch attempt. That one pushed back on Aaron Lamb's try. This time she'll bring the power, and that one comes back to her teammates. They can't handle it. It's a 4-1 lead for Northern Lights. Lamb going to Kentucky, going to do some nice things there, but needs a ball a little bit further off the net so she can have some room to work, as, uh, as we say in the game here. This ball sent over. Northern Lights has to give it back free. Olsen to the front, back set, and a big spike and kill for Liz Helmick. Helmick with that much space is going to be lethal. Uh, they have to commit to the middle because she's done some really nice things. But there you see Lamb just diving out, and she actually hits the 5-6 seam from outside the block. That's a, that's a misplaced block. Select on the serve. This one got caught up in the net, kicking it over anyway is Nicole Odin. No quit for Odin. This ball to the outside, spike and kill. And instead of the player who got the kill celebrating, she goes right over on that kick save. Ali Hins giving credit to Nicole Odin for that point. Great effort. We'll get a timeout here from head coach Adam Beamer as his team trails 6-1. to one. Let's take a look at some of the efforts from Liz Helmick throughout the course of the year with the AAA champion YZ at Trojans. And Andy, I believe you had a front row seat for this one. I'll tell you what, I think you're nice and all, but my, uh, my counterpart in that, in that match was a little bit more fun to be around. But it was just so fun to watch Helmick as we see her deep in the six, deep in the five, tip to the four, deep cross court, off the edge of the block. There wasn't a single way that you could score a point that Helmick didn't take advantage of in that state final match. And we're seeing it again here. She's just, she's tough to slow down, almost impossible to stop. And uh, I wonder what Beamer brought up to his kids during that timeout about how to slow that kid down. My guess is, is it has a lot to do with taking care of first touch. They're out of the stack here as they've moved Lamb over to the right side. We'll see if she gets this ball. No, they go to Mose. Picked up, covered by Torsonson. Fry to the floor. Crowell housed as Helmick not only scores offensively, but she's going to take away some birthdays blocking as well. It's a really nice house by her. And select rushing out to a lead that is as large as any lead they had in the first set. So 7-1 advantage and Olsen serving. Back set to the right side. The block is there. But it is unable to shut down the attack from Northern Lights. Much needed second point for Northern Lights. 
Yeah, Lamb finds the edge of the block there, through the seam, down for a point. She'll go back to serve. Gonna need to put a run on her back here. Off the receive. Coming back is Minnesota Select with the block. Nicely done, not a lot of room over there and they kept it inbounds. Yeah, Fowler hits that one on the way down and Helmick, that's gotta be her third block of this set. She's also got a couple kills. Fowler gonna look to try and get away from that block hopefully here. Schultz on the serve. Set to the outside, big spike, but the block's there again and it's Helmick once more. If low seam is closed, lower, harder seam tends to be closed as well, but most junior hitters haven't quite figured that out. Fowler getting frustrated right now, trying to figure out how to get out of this rotation. Schultz ready. She had a nice run during the first set as well. Getting down on that was Torstensen. Now a spike from the back row, and that one finds the floor. Aaron Lamb with the kill. Lamb smooth out of the back court there, down for a point. Torstensen will serve here, needing some points as they're in a bad spot, down three to nine. Torstensen serve, won't clear the net. And into double digits goes Minnesota Select. 10-3, their advantage. Select kind of running away with this one right now. They took the first 25-22. It was tied at 22 apiece. They had led 22 to 19 before letting the lead slip and then regaining the advantage and carrying for the victory. Here they are not messing around at the start of the second set, although that last point did go to Northern Lights. Quick side out, once they got Helmick in the back row, they go to Crowell as the block has to kind of spread, and it's four to 10. Serve floated over at Schultz. She gets it towards the front. Now the setup, and this one just wide on the hit by Ali Hinsey. Hinsey looking at the looking at the cross court, trying to get it figured out, does not find the court there. Uh, look for her to get repeated. We see Kayla Cole talking to her setter right now. I'd like to see watch out, watch the middle attacker here. So Hinsey back for the serve. They had a touch called on that ball. Yeah. Off the receive, Aaron Lamb. Now Fry gets to the back row and Crowell shot too strong. 12-4 in favor of Select. Largest lead for either team in this match. Select just comfortable letting Northern Lights give some points away here. Not doing anything too pressureful, but all sorts of chaos on the far side of the net. Hinsey digs that one out, pushed to the outside. The spike from Olsen played up into the air. This ball pushed through strong, but Schultz gets it on the back end, and it's given over free to Northern Lights once more. Dump attempt to getting underneath that was Schultz on another dive, and it's given over free. This ball to the outside. The spike getting underneath it was Helmick, but pushed it away from her teammates. See a big swing here. Good, good set all the way to the pin as Fallard finally gets that one down. 5 to 12. Work to be done. Fallard at the line. Out of Concordia Academy, her serve a good one. Coming back at her, courtesy of Lily Emlong. Spike from the middle, Schultz gets under that attack, and it's pushed back. We had net contact against Minnesota Select. That's a point for Northern Lights. Odin into the net there. Lights needing that point to extend a run here. Kira Fowler once more. Schultz receives Odin with the dump attempt. Crowell gets underneath that. Fry gives it to the outside into the antenna, and there's Point number 13 for Minnesota Select. I don't know if it's, the, if it's in the serving strategy or if they're just missing, but they seem the, the light squad seems to be going at Schultz and she's been up to the challenge all match. Northern Lights from the outside, Crowell gets a hit on it. Hinsey underneath it, now Odin sets the middle and it's pushed back 13-7. The lead for, Northern, or for Select, Northern Lights getting within six. Liber to serve. Liber out of Prior Lake. Her serve into the net. 
So free point for Minnesota Select. And they lead 14-7. Here's Nicole O'Dean. Off the receive from Fowler. This ball pushed towards the outside and never given back to Minnesota Select. Select leads 15-7. Misfire there as Fry thought that ball was, uh, the five was the call and it was an inside set that Lamb ran. Uh, miscommunication there. Hopefully they get that figured out here. Odin going short with that one and it works. 16-7, Minnesota Select. So the nine point advantage now the largest lead that Select has had in this match. Again, they're trying to close this out in two. Ball given to the outside, blocked back, make it a double digit lead for Minnesota Select. Lamb looking for the edge of the block there. It's not open and a nice house again as we'll take a look here. Big block there from Doc. And now another timeout, 17 to seven. Take a look at that finish to that play again. Northern Lights just kind of standing around waiting for things to finish. Going to need a little bit more grit and determination if they're going to come back and even make this thing competitive. Select everything falling their way. Really big blocks. Uh, they're serving tough enough that it's limiting the offense that Riley Fry can run. And as a result, uh, defense gets a lot easier when you're only having to defend essentially one hitter. Mm -hmm. As a uh, very good camera work there as we see Kennedy Orr uh, out for the day today. Uh, she's a difference maker for sure, but with the passing the way it's been going, uh, I don't even know that she would be able to put this team in a, in a much better position. Northern Lights comes with a strong spike out of the timeout. There's the kill for Aaron Lamb. And immediately a hearty congratulations to her setter saying that's a great set. This is the tempo they got to run as they can beat Helmick inside when she's trying to seal the pin in that situation. Fry to serve. The setter gets it over. Olsen bumps it up to the front. Odin back set right side and a spike through the block for Helmick. Back to a 10 point advantage. Moe's not able to hold that seal. Helmick gets another kill. Olsen serving. Fry sets the outside. Olsen gets under this one. Odin backs it again, and Helmick again from the right side makes it happen. Helmick with all the energy in the world right now. She's taking a bunch of swings, but doesn't look like anything's come off her arm or her legs. Still getting up high, still taking a lot of pace with the ball. And is that Olsen with yet another service ace as it's 20 to eight. Things have gotten lopsided here in this second set. And Select with that killer instinct, trying to finish things off in two. Off the receive, Fry gives it to the middle, a spike and kill, there it is. Lauren Crowell trying to get her squad back into this match. Crowell goes into the open space, Fry sets it right where she is, one on one, and Schultz not able to handle that one. Serve here by Lamb, moved to the front. Odin gave it over to Hinzey. Good strong spike, but it's picked up. Cut attempt, shut down, the block in place. Grace Dake leading the way. Must have snuck that one through. Delmeyer oh. gives the point to Northern Lights as they're into double digits. I misread Still that. Still trailing by 10. I was with you until I saw the service go back. <laughs> this ball played up to the front. Spike from the middle by Dake and Players all over the floor for Northern Lights, but no one able to get the ball up. 21-10, select. Yeah, Torsenson does a really nice job picking up the B there. Digs it well, but digs it tight, and Helmick handles it and finishes the play. 21-10, four points from the championship. And Schultz has been so strong on the serve. She's back at the line now. Here, she's also been great on the dig. She gets one of those, too. We had a joust at the net, and the player came underneath during that play before Minnesota selects, so point to Northern Lights. Horsenson to serve. Emma floating this one over. Hinsey gets underneath it. Odin sets it to the right side. Helmick shot block out of bounds. Point to Minnesota Select. The Midas touch from Helmick. Everything she touches is scoring points right now. She'll go back to serve here. 
looking to close out this Northern Lights team. She had plenty of aces during the high school season, but I'm guessing high school or club, when you see her back there, you're a little happy that she's not up front. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things where you exhale, and wow, that is very uncharacteristic. You exhale that you got her out of the front row, but she's typically just as lethal behind the service line. Crowell will go back to serve the lefty for Northern Lights, looking to put a run together. Floats that at Olsen. She gets it up on the serve receive. Odin sets up Kinsey. She touches it over softly. That ball kept alive. It went behind the antenna, so it was out of bounds. It's the one good thing about the angle we're at today. That was very clear. <laughs> yeah, good effort there uh, from Lamb as she's able to get a second touch on it, but not able to keep it in play. Two points away from the championship. Libert passes. D ball to Crowell, dug up easily. Odin dumps it across, Crowell picks it up, Fry gonna go outside looking for Fallard into the seam, dug into the ceiling, they're gonna keep playing. And it's a point for Northern Lights, they get a much needed 14 here. What was that 13? That's 13, 13 now. Yeah, as long as that ball stays on your side, if it hits the rafters, it can come back down. There's good height here at this facility, but that one had a lot of strength behind it. Here, a softer hit from M. Long. Now it's back on her side. Odin gives it to the outside. Here, a spike and kill from Olsen. Olsen abusing the right hand of Fry there. Really nice vision from her, recognizing the block hadn't sealed, so she goes off the edge. Set, and it is match point set here. Set point, match point. Here we go. Ready to go is Lily M. Long. Fry gives it to the outside. The spike by Lamb played up into the air. Minnesota Select gives it over softly. Crowell plays it. Dump attempt on it is M. Long. Odin sets the middle from the back row and the spike into the net. Means we're going to have to go again. 24 14. Hinsey in tempo. I love that choice by Odin to try and end it on the Bick there. Uh, didn't quite have the swing she wanted though. This is Camille Libert. Schultz receives. Odin, bump set to the outside. The spike finds the floor, finishing it off is Olsen. 25-14 the score in the second. Select does it in two, and they are the champions of Molten Series number three here in Burnsville. I want to thank all of you for tuning in today for our entire CCX media team, along with Andy Gugusberg, I'm John Haddon saying so long from Burnsville, where your champions is Minnesota Select 18-1 in two.